YouTube, welcome to a new video. I'm Philip Jacob and you're watching Metal Beings. On today's video, we're gonna see the review on the BMW 330i Sport variant. But before I start, please do take a moment and subscribe to the channel. So let's go ahead with the video. start off with the engine characteristics, we have a 2 litre petrol engine which produces 258 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque. It is coupled to an 8 speed gearbox. It can do a 0 to 100 in just 5.8 seconds and also as per ARAI, it has a claimed mileage of 16 kilometers per litre. The 330i has two variants on the whole. So one is a sport variant and the other one is the M sport variant. This being the sport variant misses out on certain features. So let's go through the exterior characteristics of this car. The car is equipped with LED headlamps with extended content. So it has a range of 300 meters and also mildly it can twist when you turn the steering wheel. And also coupled with that you also have a LED fog lamp. It's equipped with the Active Astream kidney grills also. So as you can notice now, they are closed. So usually at slower speeds, they open up, but in high speeds, they close. And it opens only when the engine needs air. This in return increases the aerodynamic efficiency of the car. The Sport variant comes with a design of the bumpers, which is a little different than compared to the M Sport. As you can notice, you also have the sensors embedded in them and also aerodynamics has been included in them. As you can notice, here you have an air curtain. This lets air pass on to the wheel arches, which in return reduces the turbulence which is formed in here, thereby increasing the stability of the car. The car comes with 17-inch alloy wheels as standard and they have a tire rating of 225.50 R17 and they are on flat tires. You can drive the car at 80 km under 80 km per hour speed even with zero pressure inside them. This increases the safety characteristics of the car. While checking out the windshields, you have something called as acoustic glazing on them. So what does that mean? What it does is that it avoids the noise from the outside to travel into the cabin. So you have better NVH values inside this car cabin. And also, as you can notice, these windshield wipers have their nozzles incorporated into the wiper arms itself. Usually, they used to be on the bonnet, but now they have incorporated on the wiper arms itself. While checking the side profile, as you can notice, there are strong lines, shoulder lines on this car, which gives a good presence for the car. And while checking out the mirrors, you have the two-tone color on the mirrors with the indicators incorporated into them. These mirrors have the anti-dazzle function, so it is usually only the right-hand side rear-view mirror and the inner rear-view mirror. So what happens is that if there is a high beam being projected to you from the rear, it dims it out for you so that you have a much more pleasant ride, especially at night times. And while checking at the rear, you have 3D designed tail lamps, which are completely LEDs and they have the L shape on them and also a little bit of a smoky effect which gives a good presence for the car at the rear. You have the reversing camera incorporated just underneath the BMW logo and the 330i badging. While going down you'll find two exhaust tips which are in chrome which gives a good presence for the car and also the accents just like the front bumpers with the black chrome surrounding on them. And while checking the boot, you can notice that you have a large boot space and also for practicality you can fold down the seats with 40, 20 and 40 split just by pulling down these handles out here. So right now we are seated inside the BMW 330i Sport variant and as you can notice you have a beautiful steering wheel which is 3 spoke. On the left hand side you have the controls for your speed limiter and the cruise control whereas on the right hand side you have the controls for your mobile phone and the media. The car also has paddle shifters, the left hand side for the downshift and the right hand side for the upshift. And again on the left hand side stock you have the controls for your headlights and indicators and also the button for the onboard computer. 
and on the right hand side you have the stock for the controls for your windshield wipers. And while checking the instrument cluster, we get an analog instrument cluster. On the left hand side you have the information on your fuel gauge, you have the speedometer, the tachometer and the engine temperature. And you have a small digital screen out here which gives you various information once you're clicking on the onboard computer button on the left hand side stock. As you can notice it is giving other various informations. But on the whole it looks like it is just one screen but it's only the bottom portion which is digital. The center information display is a 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen system and as per music you have a 10 speakers and 205 watts incorporated inside the car and again while seeing the avens you have brushed aluminium finishing on them which continues on the dashboard also with the piano black interior and going down you have the controls for the air conditioning this car has three zone air conditioning so you have the controls at the back also you have the fast dial buttons in which you can incorporate any function which is there in the iDrive and going down you have a small space out here in the M Sport you will have a wireless charger this misses out on that you have two cup holders with a 12 volt socket and a USB port out here going down you have the controls for the iDrive apart from touch you can also control it by using this joystick over here and when you come to the side you have this 8 speed gearbox shifter over here and you have the electric parking brake you also have the auto hold feature you have three driving modes which is the sport comfort and eco pro by default the car would be in comfort mode and this is where you start and stop the car this is the button for the automatic engine start stop feature this is for the parking sensors and for the traction control and going down you have the hand wrist in which you have a small space and also a C port charger incorporated inside. So right now we are seated at the rear and at the back it can easily accommodate three adults to sit comfortably inside. As you can notice the doors you have the accents of the brushed aluminium on them as also on the handles. And while seeing the center console you also notice that there are avens at the back with the controls and just underneath that you also have two C port charging points and a 12 volt charging outlet also. This car is also equipped with a sunroof so being a sport variant in the entry level also you also have the sunroof option. The interior in this car is beige and the sport variant gets only the synthetic leather and you also have an option of having black interiors also. So that's it from me on the BMW 330i Sport variant. If you want to know the difference between the 330i Sport and the M Sport, I have also made a video on the M Sport so please do check it out. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe, it supports me and the channel's growth. I'll see you guys later in another video with another car. Bye bye.